Hey guys, it's Roots. I'm finally back. Kind of took a few months off. You know how that is. Winter comes, family things, things like that. So, trying to get back into it. I, I know you hardly ever see me with short sleeves, but trying to exercise it, get it tight again. You know how that goes. But uh, for the lady who talked about hair, that's the only reason my hair is down. I've been trying to work out, but I had it straight this week. Uh, she said I was baking a cake with all the ingredients I made. I put on my hair, but natural ingredients actually do grow your hair, and that's all I'll say about that. But anyway, in the midst of working out, I got kind of a rash on my shoulders. As you get older, and you go through the second phase of life, if you know what I mean. Uh, sometimes your pH changes, whereas you always had nice, smooth skin or no problems with your skin. I now have a rash here, there, and everywhere on my back. I know it's a lot of information, but that's just the way it is. So I'm gonna make an antifungal spray. Well, I'm not gonna make it. I've made it before, but I'm gonna make it again, and this time I thought I'd film it. Just a little spritz here and there, and we'll go over the ingredients, and we'll get started. So pan down, cameraman. We're gonna use witch hazel, just plain old witch hazel. Make sure that the ingredient says it's at least 86% witch hazel, because sometimes you get a mix of things. Let's stay on the table. Uh, we're gonna use thyme oil excellent antifungal yeast most everything that is going into this spray is either anti-yeast antifungal antiseptic or antibacterial so a lot of them overlap thyme oil which is one of the main ingredients in thyme oil is excellent for killing superbugs of any kind so that's the one of the main ingredients for me we're going to use cedar wood oil we're going to use geranium oil we're going to use lavender, tea tree. Everybody knows about tea tree. Now, if you're going to make an antifungal and you can't find any of these, or if your pocketbook says you can't buy any of these, of all the ones on the table, I would have to say tea tree would be the active ingredient in the spray. Also, peppermint oil, which is good for antifungal, antiseptic. As you noticed in most of my videos, um, I overlap a lot of things. Like I said once before, don't just buy ingredients for one reason. Buy them because you're going to use them for everything. And we're going to get started. It's really, really, really simple to make this. Really, really simple to uh, use it on the body too. All of it should be poured in a glass container. Because of the cedar wood oil and the peppermint oil and things like that, they tend to cling to plastic and can leach into the plastic. So if possible, mix it in glass, store it in glass, put it in a glass spray bottle. We're gonna use one half, one half cup of witch hazel. One half cup is four ounces. If you don't have witch hazel, you can use alcohol, but I prefer witch hazel because it's good for bruises and all those type of things and scrapes and minor irritations of the skin anyway. We're gonna use witch hazel. We're gonna use tea tree. This is an estimation. This is not an exact science. So you could do yours the way you want. That's maybe two to five drops. That just depends. I'm not very one for measuring things. Some of the oils I will measure carefully, but some I will not. We're going to use thyme oil. Five drops of that. We're going to use cedar wood oil, which is, oh man, that smells so good. One, two, two large drops of that. We're going to use geranium oil. We're going to do three of that. One, two, three. We're going to do lavender oil. These are essential oils, by the way. One, two. And the peppermint, we're not wanting to use too much of that because if you've eaten pure peppermint candy, on the skin, this stuff can get kind of rough at times. One, two, exactly. It's just a little glass dropper. Alrighty, uh, let me get my wooden spoon here. There we go. We're going to give that a good stir. If you have a wooden spoon or a, a ceramic spoon or what have you, that works just as well. But I'm going to review what's in it, but we're going to pour it in the jar. Glass sprayer, glass bottle. Yes, the wand for spraying it is plastic. I don't know anybody that has a glass wand. 
pour it about half full because if you need to dilute it more if you have a skin sensitivity that way you have space in your bottle and the rest of it I labeled this as an antifungal which is what this spray is for we're just going to pour it in our jar and keep it in a dark cabinet and refill the spray bottle as necessary and I'll set this all to the side and we're going to recap we use witch hazel we use tea tree oil which is one of the main ingredients lavender essential oil peppermint essential oil geranium oil essential oil i should say cedar wood essential oil and we use thyme essential oil so if you had to only buy two on the table as far as essential oils i recommend the tea tree and the thyme oil all right we can pan up doll we have it all in our little spray bottle. The reason that we're doing antifungals, anti-yeast, things like that, as you're sweating, and if you're at the gym 30 minutes to an hour, you're sweating quite a bit, and the sweat sometimes is drying on your skin, and if your chemistry has changed, or if your skin is very sensitive anyway, you're more susceptible to getting rashes, or even pimples, or adult onset acne. Whereas with me, I haven't exercised in a while because of different reasons that we won't go into. My skin all of a sudden is going crazy and it's like, what the heck is that itching me to death? So you can buy antifungal creams at the supermarket or at the drugstore. But if you look up actually what that does to your liver, uh, that's not for me. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to even chance getting some form of liver damage or hepatitis. Not the type of hepatitis that you get from a... Uh, you know what but anyway once you get everything in your bottle if you need to dilute it like I said add more witch hazel give it a good spritz mine is mainly for my shoulders and my back but you can use it anywhere I would not recommend that you put it on your private areas but you know if you have any skin folds or under the breast spray it before you work out the smell is not strong it doesn't smell antiseptic it's kind of kind of a pleasant smell a little bit different uh, spray it after you've had your shower this is something that's going to dry on your skin really nice it's not going to dry the skin out and it's going to start killing those bugs and those germs and also cut down a lot on that itching as far as the antifungal spray that you store in your glass jar just keep it in a dark area in the bottom of the box I'm going to write exactly who what and why I use certain essential oils and I hope that helps you. I hope everybody has a good new year. We're starting 2014. Lots of changes are coming. And uh, hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.